Hello, I'm Jonathan Clark, and in this video I'm going to discuss my latest device, JConsole 5. This is the JConsole 5 video game system. So as you can see, it's similar to the other systems that I've built. It's got a separate sound chip. Um, this is the game chip here. It stores all the game data. This is an EEPROM. It actually stores saved game information and things like that. These LEDs are part of a flashlight. I can turn that flashlight on just by going to the flashlight option on the menu. So the way we the way this works is we have our game chip and it actually is connected to a serial peripheral interface bus that links the LCD, the EEPROM, and the sound chip together. This is the speaker. So what we do is when we want to make a sound, we send a packet of data out to the sound chip and the sound chip handles that sound. Um, no two sounds can happen at the same time, so if, our, if we want to make a sound and we're in the process of doing another one, we have to finish that one first. Um, J Console 5 also has a couple of debug buttons down here for testing as well as a debug LED right here that indicates if there's a problem with the serial communication. Um, one of the other features about J Console 5 is uh, right here we have a serial communication port that's designed to hook up to another J Console 5 theoretically making multiplayer games possible. I haven't done that yet but it's it's on my list of things to do. And similar to the other J consoles, J console 4 and 3 and 2B, it has a or 2C, it has a joystick with a push button on it. Now I'm going to show you one of the new games that I created for J console 5. I did update Star Trek, Star War or Star Trek, Tanks, Pong and Debris and made them all work with J console 5, but I also have a new game called Star Wars. And I'm going to show you Star Wars. So you are the Millennium Falcon, and your goal is to destroy the TIE Fighters, as many as you can. And if you destroy enough, you get a TIE Bomber, so you got to take him out. And he takes a few more hits. You'll notice on the left there is a shield bar and a health bar. Once your shield is gone, then we start it starts taking down your health. You don't want to get hit by a TIE fighter because that will hit that will hurt your health. And that is Star Wars. 